हाय हेलो गाइस दिस इज शरद चंदर के वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट ए स्टॉप वॉच विथ लैब फ्यूचर फ्रॉम स्क्रैच यूजिंग एच टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड जॉवा स्क्रिप्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग यूर टाइम लेट्स डाइव इन टू यू डेमो दिस डेमो विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द स्टॉप वॉच वर्क ऑन अवर प्रोजेक्ट दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज डिजाइन टू प्रोवाइड प्रैक्टिकल इन साइट इन टू डॉम मैनिपुलेशन इवेंट हैंडलिंग एंड टाइम रिलेटेड फंक्शन फॉलो अलॉन्ग एस वी क्रिएट ए स्टाइलिश एंड रेस्पॉन्स यू स्टॉप वॉच दट अलोस यूजर टू रेकॉर्ड लैप टाइम्स इयर इन द आउटपुट विंडो we have set all the timer value to 0 and then right below we have a two option with lap and start the lap option has been disabled once we start the timer then only it will be enabled for that we have a option next to it called start if you hit this start button the timer will start now the stopwatch is running and then you can able to see the lap as enabled if you hit this now we can record the laps based on the hit so it will be record as much as we can so once we hit if i go to top and i will hit lab it will append to the end of the list and it will scroll to the bottom of the list so if i hit now you can able to see this we have a option to stop if you hit stop the stop button will gone and resume button will come the same as lab button will gone and then reset button will come if you hit resume so it will be start again where we stop and again we have option to lab and we have a option to stop and again we can able to reset it once we hit reset it will be reset all the timer value and then laps as well as the button to again we can able to start stop resume and then lap stop and then reset by the end of this tutorial you will have a fully functional stop watch with lap functionalities that you can customize for your own projects if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting web development projects and tutorials to level up your coding game. Let's build our own. Here I have already created a project folder with name called stopwatch. Let me open this into my favorite code editor Visual Studio Code. I will drag this directory into a Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code will automatically load all the files into it. Inside that I have already created a three files. index.html style.css and script.js so now in the index.html we'll start adding the html boilerplate for that we have a abbreviation to type exclamation mark and it enter it will automatically create a html boilerplate and then we'll change the title to stopwatch by sarachandar k and then now we'll link other two files into the index.html for that we have another abbreviation with link colon css if i hit enter it will automatically create a link tag with the href of style.css a link tag defines the relationship between current document and an external resource and now we'll add the script file to here for that we have another abbreviation with script colon src if i hit enter it will automatically create a script tag with the source attribute and we need to manually type the script file for us we have a script.js script tag is used to embed on client side script or it points to an external script file through the source attribute and then we'll add the defer keyword here a defer is a boolean keyword this will help us to load this script file once the page has passed the loading and if you want this empty project structure i have already added a github repo in the description start cloning and work with me and then inside the body we are going to add the html element body element contains all the content of an html document so inside that we are going to add the div div tag defines division or a session into an html document for creating a div we have a abbreviation type div dot container if i hit enter it will automatically create a div tag with a class attribute with the value of container inside that we are going to add another div to display the timer value with the help of abbreviation div hashtag stopwatch duration if i hit enter it will create a div tag id of stopwatch duration previously we have add for class and now we add for id and i will add the timer value here if i save 
now let us see our html file in action for that in visual studio code we have a extension called go live in the status bar if you click this go live it will automatically create a server and run it into a default browser what is live server generally when we make any changes into an html document manually we need to refresh this page every time here the live server come into the picture when we change or when we modify anything on the html document and if you click save this will automatically reflect that into the default browser that is how our live server will work and i will revert this and i hit save now you can able to see this changes instantly i will jump into the style.css to style this stopwatch duration for that in the style.css i will type asterisk what is asterisk asterisk is an void call that means all element this will help us to set margin and padding to zero for that i will add a margin 0px and then padding of 0px if i save now you can able to see the stopwatch has reset at the values to 0px and then box sizing should be border box and i will add the styles to the body so for that we have a selector with the help of body so i can directly add the body inside that first i will add the background color of light blue color if i save now you can see the changes instantly and i will add the height of 100 vh vh is an viewport height and then we'll set display flux we need to set this stopwatch center of the screen so if you want to learn how to center your div for easy methods i have already added a video into the code please do check it out and then align item center and then justify content center if i save see now you can able to see the timer center of the screen now we'll add the styles to the container because we have already added the styles to the body and we need to set the styles to the container so for that this is a class if you add these styles to the div this will applicable to all the divs based on the selector so for that we have a class for the class with the help of dot we can add the styles with the class value this is another selector with dot with the help of background we are going to set the background color of the container if i save see now you can able to see the background color so and then i will set the padding in a spacing of 25 px and then we'll set the width of 450 px and then if i save now you can able to see and then we'll set the border radius to 15 px and then we'll set text align center if i save now you can able to see the text has centered but the container is not centered here i have added a justify self instead of justify self we need to set justify content if i save now you can able to see the div center of the screen and then we'll add the styles to this stopwatch timer so here we have a option previously it was due with the help of class so with the help of class we added a styles to this right now in the div we don't have the class for that we have another selector with id so for that we have a hashtag with id value and we can set the styles to this tag too if i add the font size if i save see now you can able to see the styles with the id selector and then we'll add the color to black and then i will set the padding inner spacing 20 px if i save now you can able to see this i will jump into the index.html we'll add the laps as well as button so for that inside that we'll add the ul with the id of laps if i hit it will create a ul tag and then below we have another div with say lap buttons if i hit it will create a div with the class attribute inside that we are going to add the four buttons so for that we have another abbreviation with button asterisk four if i hit it will create a four buttons so the first button contain reset and i will hit tab it will directly jump into the next button value and then i will say this as lap and this as start and the next button as stop and now we'll add the ids to it id equal to reset and then this button id equal to lap this button id equal to start this button id equal to stop if i save 
now you can able to see the four buttons right now we'll style the buttons i will jump into the style.css again we are going to style the buttons with the help of this div first first we'll set the buttons into the center of div right for that i will add the class and then we'll set display flags and then justify content center and we'll add the gap of 100 px if i save now you can able to see the gap of 100 px for each buttons and then we'll add the styles to the button with the same class attribute and then we'll set this button this will applicable to all the buttons because here we have added the styles in the class attribute and with the help of this we are added a buttons inside the div all the buttons this will applicable to this particular styles so for that i will add the height of 45 px if i save now you can able to see the styles for all the buttons and then we'll set the width of 25 percentage if i save now you can able to see this and then we'll add the border radius 5 px and then background color again the light blue color if i save now you can able to see and then we'll remove the border with the help of border none and we'll set the outline to none and i will set padding inner spacing 5 px and then margin outer spacing 10 px and then cursor pointer and then font size 16 px if i save now you can able to see this now we need to disable two buttons so for that i will jump into the index.html here the buttons are collapsed right we need to disable two buttons so for that in the index.html will set this display none with the help of inline style with display none the same thing i will copy this and i will do it for stop to so if i save now you can able to see only these two buttons that another two button is disabled based on the functionality we can enable it so now we'll style this laps so i will jump into the style.css dot laps will set the height of 200 px and then we'll set the padding 10 px and then overflow will set to auto sorry this is the id selector i need to change this instead of dot to as if i save now you can able to see the styles here and then we'll add the styles to the li of font size 22 px and then padding 10 px if i save now you can able to see the design that's all for the design now we'll jump into the script.js and we'll start adding the functionalities so before adding the functionalities we need to declare the declarations for that we have a option called document or we can say dom what is document if i save in the console.log if i hit f12 now you can able to see the document here document object represent your web page document object is the owner of all other objects in your web page if you want to access any element in an html page you always start with accessing the document object so with the help of this i will add a const declaration stopwatch duration equal to document dot get element by id the easiest way to find an element in a dom is by using the element id so i will jump to html and i will copy this id and i will paste it here and then i will add a console dot log of this one if i save now you can able to get this entire div this is how the dom will work so we'll add the other declarations too with help of start document dot get element by id and we have the buttons with start stop lap and reset and i will add the start and i will add the lap document dot get element by id lap and then next button with the help of stop document dot get element by id stop and then reset equal to document dot get element by id reset and then laps document dot get element by id laps this laps contain this ul tag and that's all for the declarations now we'll start adding the events to it so we have a start already with the help of this start dot on click equal to and i will say console dot log start if i save if i hit start now you can able to see this so we can add the on click event for all the four buttons start 
and then lap and then stop and then reset if i save lap if i save if i hit lap it will get the lap console and with the start first we'll start the timer for that we'll declare some global declarations here let hours equal to zero and then minutes we are going to calculate the timer with these values minutes equal to zero and then seconds equal to zero and then milliseconds equal to zero and then we are going to add the time interval if i save these are the global declarations with the help of this we are going to add the timer here so for that with the time interval i will set interval with the function 10 milliseconds so here once this happen i need to add the milliseconds i will console.log here will check the milliseconds console.log of milliseconds if i save if i hit start see this is running in the background so we need to stop this milliseconds to 100 so for that if this milliseconds reach hundreds we need to change these values to one seconds right so before that we will concatenate these values into the stopwatch duration element so for that in the index.html i will set this milliseconds directly if i save if i hit start now you can able to see the milliseconds is running so with the help of this milliseconds we are going to add the seconds if milliseconds reaches 100 and then we'll set the seconds plus plus and then we'll reset the milliseconds zero if i start okay, now it will be inside the zero only so the same as we are going to add the minutes to so again with the help of if condition we'll check seconds double equal to 60 as we know we have a 60 seconds and we'll set the minutes plus plus and then we'll set seconds to zero and then same thing we'll add the minutes double equal to 60 and then we'll set the hours plus plus and then minutes to zero if i save i will concatenate these values with the help of string near hours and then colon and then minutes colon and then seconds colon and then milliseconds if i save if i start now you can able to see this so cut this and i will paste it inside the time interval so if i start now you can able to see the timer is running so based on the milliseconds the second will adopt based on the seconds the minutes will change based on the minutes the hours will change this is how our timer will work here we have the zero pad we need to add if I refresh it will start here we have option to set the anonymous function with the zero pad zero pad and we'll pause the number and then we'll return string num dot pad start and as we know we have all those values with two digits and then if any of the values is missed on the digits will set to zero so with the help of zero pad if i go here and i will set hours if i say if i start see now you can able to see the zero pad here instead of zero pad we can able to add any of the values if i save now if i start see this will happen the pad start will happen based on the values for now we need a zero pad so we'll start and it will add the zero values so we'll concatenate these values to others like zero pad minutes and then zero pad seconds and then milliseconds zero pad if i save now if i hit start now you can able to see the zero pad for all the values and if i start once we start and we need to change these buttons right so for that i will stop this again once we start we need to set the other buttons to enable disable right for that we'll add the start dot set attribute will add the style display none so if i save if i hit start you can't see that button so other buttons we need to enable and disable as same and we need to enable the stop button with set attribute and then we'll set the style display block if i save start now the stop button is came and again we need to stop this will change right once we start once the stop button came we need to set the stop this so for that i will jump into the stop on click and here we have a option to clear the interval with the time interval so if i refresh start and i will stop stop and again we can able to resume it so once this start we need to stop this for that again i will jump to here and we'll set lap dot 
set attribute style display block and then we'll set the reset button dot set attribute style to display none and then we'll add the lap now we'll refresh and start stop and we'll add the colors to it for that i will jump into the style.css i will add the background color of those buttons stop and then reset with the help of background we'll set the red color so user will understand this buttons so now you can able to see this now if i refresh start start if we stop we need to set this lap to reset so i will go here and in the stop we'll add the lap dot set attribute will set the same style display none and then we'll show the reset button to set attribute with the help of style will set display block if i save start stop it was changed again these things change to resume right so for that i will add the start dot set attribute same style with display block and then we'll change the text to start dot inner html equal to resume if i save if i start stop say again we need to clear the stop button stop dot set attribute of style display none if i save start stop resume and stop and once we hit reset we need to reset all those things right for that i will go to the reset so before that we need to add the laps right if i start if i hit the lap this should be set the laps right i will for that i will jump into the lap dot on click before that we'll add another declaration with let count this is a global declaration with the help of this we are going to list this so whenever we click this count plus plus so we can add the serial number with the help of this count so with the help of let li document dot create element we are going to create the list element and then in the list element dot inner html will concatenate this values so for that we have already added a declaration with i will set the hashtag plus count if i save now if i hit lap nothing will happen why because we need to append this right we need to append this into the laps dot append child then we'll set the i if i hit lap see now you can able to see the serial number over here so with the help of this we are going to concatenate the values with the zero pad so again i will add the same value here i can copy this and i will paste it here if i save if i hit lab now you can able to see the zero values because it was directly taking the values from the global variable so if i refresh so only we need to disable this lab so for that i will jump into the index.html simply we can add the attribute of disabled if i save now you can able to see the lap and we can't able to click this whenever we start we need to enable this right so for that again i will jump into the script.js the start button event will remove that attribute with the lap dot remove attribute disabled if i save if i start this was disabled if i save if i refresh if i start see now you can able to see the lap and here you can able to add this lap so once we stop and this reset and resume you need to work on and if i lap it again whenever we are on the top whenever we click lap we need to navigate to this particular element right so for that i will i will jump to here in the lap we have a option to add the scroll to the laps laps dot scroll and we'll set top colon laps dot scroll height and then we'll set the behavior to smooth if i save if again i will start i will lap it see if i lap it it was going to the top we need to set this to here right i will stop this we have to do the mistake so if i start i will lap it so this will automatically goes to the bottom right why it's not going because here we have set to lap instead of laps i need to change these things to laps and if i refresh and i will start and i will lap this will automatically scroll to the bottom so if i stop and i need to now we need to work on resume and we need to add the lap to so for that now we need to work on the reset if i 
clear this inside the reset first we need to get the labs dot inner html set to null and then we'll set all the global variables to zero hours equal to minutes equal to seconds equal to milliseconds equal to count equal to zero if you set this all these values set to zero and then we'll clear the interval with the help of time interval and then we'll reset the stopwatch up duration in a html to zero zero if i save i will start stop and then reset and then the buttons we need to change stop reset see still it is resume right we need to change that button too so for that first we'll add the start dot inner html equal to we'll set to start and then lap dot set attribute of style to display block and then we'll set the lap dot set attribute of disabled true and then we'll set the reset button to display none set attribute style display none we'll set the set attribute of display block to the start button comma display block and then we'll set the stop to display none with the help of same style display none now if i save if i refresh i can able to start stop uh, resume stop resume and then lap and we can able to see this scroll all the time whenever we hit lap it will scroll to the bottom of the list if i i can able to drag up and i will lap it will automatically scroll if i stop i can able to reset again i can start stop resume lap stop reset if you are interested in javascript projects i have created a playlist called javascript projects for beginners to advance i have added a link in the description please check it out that's all for the video thank you so much for watching until next time keep coding and keep learning see you in the next video happy coding bye for now have a nice day